Well, hello guys. This is it. After countless of months and weeks of thinking about doing this, I'm actually doing it. I created my own little start. Um, don't mind the little bit of dramatic writing after tear. And if you find any errors in my spelling or writing, I'm not a native English speaker, so I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this series and I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on what it actually is about. So I really like the Helga Nation and I want to make a playthrough with them. But now here's the big, big problem. I don't like a lot of things they are doing. For example, they disrespect women. I mean, that sounds white knightish right now, but I just mean in game it, it's just a little bit complicated if you have women companion, I, I don't want that. They don't like other factions, I don't want that either. And also they don't hate tech. So I know you could also play with them and like forget everything else and you would still be able to win and to have a nice playthrough, but I wanted to change it up a bit. We are starting as a lone wanderer or as I call it, the Monk of Purity. He basically spawns or made his way up to the northern farm of the Holy Nation because he thought that the Holy Nation would listen to him and he wanted to bring people together and make sure that the land would prosper and everyone would be happy. But the Holy Nation doesn't give a shit about this. The Holy Nation is it's like, no, we don't care about you. So now we are starting off as a monk and we are trying to recruit followers. For this I've made myself some rules. I'm not allowed to have more than 7 followers at the start, which means that I have to do specific things to raise my redown, you could say, to be able to recruit more. I've not I have some things in mind currently, which I wanted to do, like some cities I have to destroy, some, some, you know, some achievements I have to unlock so that I will be able to get more recruits. I think that makes sense. But I'm going to start the game now. This is more of like an intro, but I also want to show you what I did there. So advanced options, I want to make the game hard for me, so I'm gonna pull up the number of nest multipliers to four. Everything else will stay the same. I will not build. Um, no, I will not build uh, outpost right off. I will play as an as an RPG at the start with a squad, and I think when I've reached around ten followers, I will establish my first hideout. I will make it so that I have to destroy a specific faction, so I will be able to make my head out there or at least make my head out afterwards because I've basically the monk um, I name him Saint hey I know very <laughs> very very good oh that was my mobile phone but his name is Saint the monk of purity and Saint will yes he will get some followers he will destroy the evil he will purge everything and who knows maybe Saint will go crazy and throw everything into chaos even more because he's a fanatic or maybe he will reach the thing he's dreaming of and unite the whole world of Kenji. We'll see. Also the mods I've installed, I'm gonna link them in the description afterwards. Oh, it's, it's lagging a bit because that's because I have a lot of mods installed and um, I'm running OBS, so I'm removing my clothes now because I want to see how I look. That's... okay. I don't want to spend too much on looks, but you could say that we're gonna make ourselves a little bit bigger because we are a big monk. A uh, little bit more puff. Like We have a good posture because we are a monk, obviously. <laughs> yes, that's how a monk should look. A little bit bigger arms. Let's go to the face because 
the body develops when we get stronger. Like a little bit of a bigger head. The head shape. Bigger neck. <laughs> ah, the hair. I don't like the hair on this one. Does this look like... Like a monk to you? I think a monk should have... At least long hair. The color is fine like this. I think we're going with the classic bolt on this one because we are a monk. The beard. Oh, that's not what I want to. I think for a monk that has been out for a journey, this beard is pretty much. We're nailing it with this. I'm gonna make my skin tone a little bit lighter, just a little bit. I'm not a racist, by the way, just because I made myself lighter, I'm just, you know, making it a little bit more like me. Okay, we got another name of Saint, the first monk. Well, the for Saint the first monk is might be not the, the best idea because there are already monks in the game, just not the monks we are. We know of Saint the f the monk, the monk. Of, oops, of purity. I think Saint the Monk of Purity is a nice name. All right, let's start. How does this look? Yeah, that's what I like. That's pretty sick. All right, so let's pause first. We started off in the northern area of Ocrins Valley basically the destroyed farm we are made ours or let's say let, let's say it like this saint made his way up from the south where he was at the cities but he didn't find any allegiance there just a few people that were like starving and he wanted to do them something good what we are going to do now is we gonna set sail south and hopefully we will find some followers first let's let's name ourselves we are the pure nation i think that's a nice name the pure nation yeah let's go ahead why not oh i was renamed the squad the holy monks very original yes so, uh, my stats, I randomize the stats a bit. You can do that in when you create your own character. So the stats are randomized, I have a lot of strength and some things are a little bit different. Overall I would say I didn't want to start with 0, 0, 0 or 1, 1, 1 and everything because I think it's a little bit of a stupid start if you basically just start with nothing because your character's already done a lot of stuff in his life. But yeah, we found faith now. I'm trying to not abuse the times free system, but I think for long or wrong times we are going to do it. Just so you don't have to see me walking around. Oh, we already owed us a high paladin, but there's a fight over there. What's going on? What is going on over here? I'm going to get a little bit closer. I think these are bone dogs. Oh, yep. Holy Nation fighting bone dogs. That's pretty good because we are going to steal. Wait, no, was it goats? Oh, the goats from the, are from the Holy Nation. Never mind. Okay. Good. We are going to plunder now. Let's see. We started with zero money. I'm also taking a little bit of of meat with me so I can put it on the on the oven I'm full now I can take a little bit more teeth yep then I'm gonna make my way down we can also go to world's end technically it probably would be better if we go to world's end because we have been in the holy nation area in the cities and try to change the way of thinking I think it's good if we go to World's End. It's better. 
And we gotta revisit the other towns then. So like I said, I'm only allowed to recruit six more people, so seven is the maximum. And after I reach my next achievement, we are going to add three more people. Which means that we have ten people then. I think it's fair because I don't want to like go crazy and recruit like a hundred people because the game will get easier then. I'm also thinking of maybe getting a mod that increases the not the life, but that increases the difficulty of the game by Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, it's not responding like this, so I have to run by myself. Where was I? Um, oh yeah, the, the, the difficulty part. Because I know that the game... Come on, what are you doing? I know that the game will get at some point very stale and easy. Because once your, let's say, soldiers reach a specific amount of strength then they just basically crush everything. I already have some mods installed that make the game easier, um, but I don't think that's enough. Like, oh, I'm so easier, harder. I mean, that makes the game harder. I'm really sorry. I'm really new to this recording and talking. I hope you bear with me there. Also, I'm trying to make one episode for, like 40 minutes or something like this, so you don't have to go through everything. Yes, we're running up here. Just like maybe I'm, I'm also c maybe cutting this. Uh, I don't know. If if anyone is watching this video right now, or, or if you have any suggestion suggestions or rules that you want to set me, you can submit them in the comments. I'm gonna read the comments. It's very easy for me because you know, I just started off and no one knows me, and that's that's good like this. So basically, what I wanted to do is start off as a new person. So, the monks. What are the enemies of the monks? Basically, like I said, all the big cities and nations are the enemies. The United Cities and the Holy Nation, the two biggest nations, factions, what you want to say, they are basically my enemies. I've tried to reason with them, they didn't listen. The Tech Hunters, I'm usually... Um, on good terms with the tech hunters because they are doing their stuff and they are at least trying to help people, which is a thing I like. But every other class is a uh, class. I'm, I'm I'm so sorry. Every other faction is currently on my radar. Okay, so we got a lot of gold from this. Or money, as the game states. Is there a destroyed village or house here so I can put a campfire down? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. As far as I know, you can't build a campfire. Yeah, it doesn't work. You have to put it outside. Put it here. I'm gonna put it here then. Down. I haven't figured out, is there is there a way to, to cook meat in the tavern? I don't think so. Oh. Huh. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm currently not really sure if I should recruit mercenaries. The thing with mercenaries is that you can make your game very easy by recruiting them, so I'm currently not gonna do this. Because here you see you see just the, the stats of these mercenaries are crazy. So if you hire two or three mercenary bands, you just it's just easy going. You can just crush everything. Like here, for example, those who protect Leviton Slayers. Look at the stats. That's insane. That's like really really insane. So I'm not sure, but I, I think I will skip this. Like I'm, I'm trying to. Um, I'm gonna beat up weak enemies at the start, and then I'm going to uh, 
<laughs> where, where am I running around, man? It's so... Oh, God. I'm, f I'm already fucking up this, this playthrough. <laughs> really sorry. Like, just give me some time until I get used to talking and playing Kenji. Okay, I wanted to buy some bandages. That's what, that's what I wanted to do. I think that's... Yeah, I can buy it here. So I'm not sure if you're new to Kenji, but I, I didn't tell anyone how Kenji works. I'm currently suspecting that you already know the game. If you do not, I correction you to watch some Let's Plays. Maybe follow my Let's Play, if you're new you can ask me questions. But once you got into Kenji, it's a really great game. At the start it was a little bit of a hustle. Was, I, mean, I like my games hard, but it was like, wow, everyone beats you up, what are you going to do? You can make yourself easier starts, but let's be honest, even with the easier starts, you, you don't have a lot of chances. Okay, I wanted to recruit someone over here, but I was not able to. So we have two options, basically now. We can go to the north, um, but there are cannibals over here. I actually do not want to run into cannibals. I'm being really honest. Cannibals are like instant death and I don't think that my playthrough was meant to just kill myself in the first few minutes. If I feel like it we can do another playthrough because I like my games hard if you wanted to see some something crazy. I have no problem with that. But overall, I would say, yeah, just just not kill ourselves. Oh, also wanted to put down a campfire and cook my meat. Yeah. Mm. Should make sure we have some meat for the future. Okay, that was not what I expected when I tried to click on the, on the campfire, that it's so small that you can't even click on it, but okay, that's, that's, that's how we roll. I'm going to go to the south now, maybe I will find some more dead animals on the road. Currently I'm not able to kill anything by myself, I guess. I mean. I might be able to kill a starving bandit since my stats are a little bit better, but what's what's my staff? Oh, there isn't even staff. I think it's blunt weapons. The pole arm. Oh, okay, it's pole arm. How much are my pole arm? Okay, eight. That's that's fine. Eight is good. I don't think there will be anything here that I can do. A lot of farmers out here. Like, look, even f just for new players now, you see this are f these people are farmers, look at their stats. Their stats are way above mine, like, way above is a little bit stupid, but like, they double. These farmers can beat my ass. And I'm not even that weak, but still. I mean, running around to the star is not a bad idea overall, because... We need the athletic skills anyway. Alright. Should I make my way to Blister Hill? I guess so. This is a lot of a running simulation currently, I'm very sorry about that. But there is like no other way around it. I might cut it. I might cut the whole conversation of currently saying and everything like this because I don't really, really not sure if you people want to see that me running around all the time. But that's Kanji. <laughs> At least sometimes it's just a lot of running around. Okay, I think I'm going to do something to get some money. I, I, I just don't want to scavenge battlefields because like here is the thing. I know that you easily could just steal everything and get a lot of money but that's not the way we're doing it. And we are also not someone that just steals. It's 
I mean, it's basically stealing if someone is fighting someone else. And you just go over there and just take the spoils of war. I'm just gonna save here for a second. You just take the spoils of war because if you think logically about it, usually that people take the stuff of the enemies and they just don't lay it on the ground. Ugh. Or they are not like, okay, we don't need the loot. We keep the loot on the ground. That's it. I have some mods installed. I think usually... Okay, caravans are in the game from the Holy Nation, but there are some other... Other... Wait, where is it? Is this one? Okay, it's just a normal paladin. But I have a mod installed that adds more to the game, like an, an overhaul. I'm gonna add my mod list in the description, but I've noticed some things that were not in the normal Kenji game, because that's how I started out, so I know it. I'm going to hunt raptors. That's what I wanted to say before that, before I started to lose myself in bubbling again. Move along, yes, you let me move along. Now here's the thing. I want to recruit someone else pretty quick, or not even someone else, I want to recruit my six members very quickly, because I want to train them, so we are, we will be able to take on our first raids, you could say. I have something in mind when it comes to raiding, something that is a little bit harder, and I need to train my monks for that. But the question is like, am I going to be able to do it or not? Like what, what would be the biggest fear or the first enemy that we have, like the purity, we are trying to destroy the nations, how they currently are, because they are corrupted and we don't, we don't want that, we want our nations or our nation, our main nation, to be the biggest and strongest and the, we want to share with everyone. We want to make people happy, we want to make, build a big city and people are just like, yes, this is how we want to live. So who is our biggest enemy in all of this? I would say the Holy Nation is. Because you can follow me there. And... There are a few Holy Nation outposts on the world that are producing or at least have slaves. Mm, I thought that mm, a cool idea might be if I destroy every Holy Nation mine. I'm talking about mine. I'm not attacking farms because farms are... they produce they're just farmers. I'm not going to attack farmers, but the Holy Nation mines, they are enslaving people there. And they're, they're letting them work for Okran. I mean, that's bad. You could also say that it's not as bad as the slaves are, but we are a very religious person. In game, of course. And so, we are trying to destroy these... Let's call it... We are going to call them heretics because the way they're using the, the world of Okran is just is just cruel. So I'm asking you now what is the biggest prison or at least slave camp you can think of in Holy Nation area. I'm gonna give you a hint. Hmm huh. What could it be? So... Will I be able to take this on? That's the question. That's... yes. But I think this, as, as my first goal, is pretty good. Now look, I'm trying to cheese this a little bit. These raptors are very weak. And you can easily kill them by yourself. Just... you just have to do what I'm doing. If they attack, move back, attack, move back, move back, sometimes it hits faster, like this, yep. You're gonna keep doing this, 
until they are all dead. You might call this cheesing, but I mean, in real life, it makes sense that you just don't stand still when someone attacks you or is way slower than you are. That's a way how we can train our pole arms. Also, here you can see our midi attack. Also goes up. Just have to be. Oh, wait, I just. Okay. We just have to make sure that we don't get hit. Because if we get killed here, we have a big problem. Because no one will save us. I don't think the Holy Nation uh, will save us. Nope. Nope, they're not gonna save us. Holy Nation will not help us if we are bleeding to death. If you are lucky, we can encounter some wanderers that sometimes are willing to help you, even though you... Ooh. Ooh, that... you see that? I'm going to go normal speed again, because that was stupid of me. Just beat them up. Bam. Is this interesting to you guys? Are, are you guys like... do you guys like to see this, or...? Like, if, if this is boring to you, I'm gonna cut parts, but I guess I have to show you something. But it's, it's just at the start, so that you see our struggle to become stronger. I also should do one thing. I should take the skin of the raptors so they don't re, re respawn. No, they don't stand up again because they're dead. Because for people who don't know, if you knock someone unconscious, or for animals at least, and you take some of their parts, for example their skin, their teeth or anything else, they die instantly. This doesn't apply to humans of course, if you take off their, their clothes, that would be weird. So you cannot kill humans, like you cannot execute them when they're on the ground. There is a mod for that. I do not have this mod installed. Um, I don't think it's necessary to execute someone, but we might install this mod later. If, if I don't know, if I feel like it, if I say like, okay, it's 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 worth to execute someone, then I might give it a try. But I, I want to keep it clean. So we have to do it like this. I usually would be like, okay, we can fight and get hit, and that's, that's no problem. But the thing is that I'm just alone, so no one can help me up and save me. And when your fortness level is very low at the start, then you do not stand up again when you take too much damage. Which then ends in me dying, because no one will save me. But yeah, let me let me think. Do you think um, I really should learn to speak or to think before I speak? <laughs> because it's a little bit annoying. Like I'm hearing myself saying "m" again all the time or "but." But yeah, you see, I don't want that. Just give me some time. I'm gonna I'm gonna get used to this. It's just like new for me to play a game and talk all the time because I'm usually more of the quiet guy. Okay, I have to skin these now because they, I don't want them to stand up again. Oh, oh, oh. No. That's how we're gonna make our money first. I mean, I could just, just you know, steal something or, or do something stupid. It would be no problem, but I don't want to do that. I want to earn my money. And that's, that's a good way of doing it good way of earning money. Of course it's the easy game because no one here will actually kill me. Although I have a mod installed that adds crazy psychopathic robots that run around. If they get you, you are basically dead. They can, they even can wipe out the Holy Nation patrol. I'm not sure if one of them can wipe out the whole one, but I think if there are two of them around, they can wipe out one patrol, which is insane. Okay, I'm gonna skin them again. Also, 
I'm thinking of cheesing the game a bit, but I'm not sure if you guys want to see that. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick up a raptor and I'm gonna take him with me. Why am I doing this? This is to increase my strength level. If you, if you think this is cheesing, then let me know because then I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Although I don't think it's that that bad if you ask me. Because I have to find a way to increase my strength level. And since I'm only using staffs, uh yeah. I don't I don't see another way to increase it. Okay, of course if a fallen if a member is has fallen then I'm there's a way to do it, but I don't have another way to do this. But you can let me know, like, if you say that's cheesing, don't do it, I'm gonna, not gonna do it anymore. Makes the game a bit harder. I like my game harder too, so I wouldn't mind. I'm gonna add some background music to the game because I don't... Ooh, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? I don't know what to do. I could loot all of this. That, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Am I the only person that feels like I don't deserve this loot right now? Because it's... It's not fair, like... They would usually skin this and just... Take them in. You know what? I'm not gonna pick it up right now. I'm gonna let you guys decide. If I should do this or not, just on maybe specific occasions that you be like, okay, you can do it right now because it's fair. I don't want to do it right now. I, th I think it's a little bit of cheesing and yeah, I'm gonna earn my money. So I should have enough money to recruit my first. Oh, can I recruit him? I think is. I think he's expensive. I do think he's expensive because he has very good stats. Yep. Anyway. We have to find someone that has low stats. Hmm. Looks like no one is here that wants, actually wants to join us. Oh! Over here. Bard. Oh, I think I know this guy. Yeah. It's the singer. Is it? Singing a song, yeah, it's the singer. His name is Bard. Okay, so we have our first recruit. Welcome, Bard. I'm gonna randomize it a bit. And we'll see what we get out here. Hmm. If you want to have a character named, then you can let it in the comments. I think that's fine. So, about the names. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I should call them Monk and then their name, but that's... Isn't, isn't it, it's a bit stupid, isn't it? I think that's a bit stupid, but I, w I wanted to call them Monk, but just, just Monk alone is... I wanted to give them a name. Hmm. Or we call them Templar. Because Templar is basically someone that fights for glory, but a Templar is, is not using a staff, which makes this stupid again. Hmm. Bard the monk. No. We call him Sylph. Yeah, we call him Sylph. We gonna do it like this. I'm not gonna name them monk right now because I can't name them in my squad. 
So Sylph is going to join us. And the first thing I want to get Sylph is a staff. Because we are monks. We fight with staffs. Oh, there we go. You see that? That's an Oni. That's basically the killing machine. Do you see his stats? It's, it's fucking insane. Like this, these guys are crazy. If you run across them with this mod, you're basically dead. He just, this guy one shots you. Like he killed one of my guys with just one hit. It was just dead, boom, gone. Sometimes there's a second bar in the city. Since I have a few mods installed, I don't think it's... No, it is no second bar here. Oh, I just I just recognized something. I didn't reload my game. Which is not good, because I've been playing already with another profile. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. Um, the Holy Monks Part 1. So, Saint the first monk, I'm gonna... Okay. You know what, I'm gonna play for a little bit more, and I'm gonna do this in the next episode, because I don't want to cut it right here. Man. Whew. I know what you guys probably are screaming at the monitor right now, because I don't pick this up. But yeah, I don't I I don't want to do it. I don't think it's fair. Let's find some raptors. Oh there we go. So now here is the one problem I have. Self doesn't have a staff. Which means I probably should go back. Okay, I'm gonna kill them first, then I'm gonna go back and buy stuff for Sylph. So I could stop cheesing now and let myself get hit all the time. So my fullness level is going up. But I'm currently not doing it. I want to kill them quickly and then get the staff. Yeah, so if you start Kenji, that's basically a very good way of training at the start. Oh, you see that? It's. I mean, it's still dangerous, don't get me wrong. Even though these raptors. Oh, you see that? He's done. Okay, I have to skin this one. Oh, wow. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, what? Don't do that again. That's the first time this thing... I think I really have to start a new game. I, I, uh, sorry, I'm sh shocked right now. What the fuck was that? Oh, okay. You know what? Uh, 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 you see that? That's bad. I'm gonna pick up Saint and I'm gonna run. Oh wait. <laughs> Are they out will they outrun me? No, I think I'm faster. <laughs> Our first defeat! I could I could have defeated them, but you know what? We need some strength training anyway. So we got a times three and gonna walk away from them. Ba -ba -ba. 
And I know that I missed the skin over there, but I just I got really freaked out right now because of the salt arrow. It's a really nice view. Like, yeah, I like that. Yep, yeah, you see. They're taking care of it, but I'm not gonna loot it because yep. Yeah, I'm gonna stay true to myself. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna buy a small shack. Is this buyable? Yeah. And we're gonna buy a destroyed one because building up one is cheaper. Looks like I could really badly hit there. Uh, these people are asking us stupid stuff. So I don't know if there's a blacksmith in here. Oh, never mind, there's a weapon shop. I just want to get my stuff. So, let us get in here. Do you? Okay, this guy does not have a staff. Yeah, I should have thought so. You know what? I'm gonna cut this episode right here because I'm not really sure how much I'm able to render at one time. So, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I'm sorry for speaking a little bit weird sometimes and not speaking at all sometimes. This will get fixed once I keep doing this more, I guess. But yeah, if you wanna have uh, someone named, or you know, if you wanna have a character named, or something else, or you have any plans, tips, rules you want to enforce on me, feel free to do it. I'm open for anything. So yeah, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.